But the thing is, is like when you are in that state of deficit, when you're in that state of like a lack of abundance, it, you're, you're the worst nightmare is I'm going to lose the most perfect woman in the world if I don't do everything she says. And what were you guys just saying a minute, like in the beginning of this show, when we're talking about a guy who's like too nice and too clingy and too, you know, um, that that's exactly what he's talking about. That's why it's funny. Man. Love. We man. <laughs> Money. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Least favorite part of dating? The fights. She would storm out of my apartment. I'd be falling apart, texting her. <laughs> 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 Are we gonna make it? <laughs> it was embarrassing, dude. It was so pathetic. But I had to, because there's no security. Any fight could cause me this amazing woman. So I gotta say all that. I can't sleep when you're mad at me. That's <laughs> why being married is the best, bruh. Now that's my wife. Now, if she storms out of our apartment, I'm just like... <laughs> Where are you really going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be scared? <laughs> oh no! What will I do with this time to myself? <laughs> Cut that shit out, girl. Go ahead and take your little walk. <laughs> but for real, be back by seven. There's a new Shark Tank coming on. I'm he's right and he's kind of wrong. But the, the thing is, is that when you're single and you get in a fight, you're in a state of deficit. This guy in, in particular, I know Akash. He's he's in a state of scarcity. You know, I'll never get a, a girl like this, this perfect girl anymore. And then when you get into marriage and you're you're kind of like required by law to like you're live like with step. each other, unless you yeah. want to go through the, you know, the process of filing yeah. papers. Yeah, it's a different attitude. But the thing is, the reason why it's the first part is funny is because he's in a state of sexual deficit he's in a state of there's no abundance for him a guy who's got a lot of girls a guy who fucks right i mean akash is not a guy who fucks, all right but like if if you are a guy that doesn't fuck, then yeah of course you're gonna be like oh i can't sleep when you're <laughs> i can't sleep when you're yeah. you're mad at me kind of thing and you're gonna stay you're gonna do all all these you're gonna perform all these behaviors that you never would do if you were in a state of like, well, I got a guarantee, I got that's some commitment, I got something true. that's on here. No, I think that's so, absolutely So that's true. that the reason why this is funny is because Akash is a blue pill chump and has been for quite some time. All right. I, I know I, I know enough about the guy. But the thing is, is like when you are in that state of deficit, when you're in that state of like a, a lack of abundance. It, you're, you're the worst nightmare is I'm going to lose the most perfect woman in the world if I don't do everything she says. And what were you guys just saying a minute, like in the beginning of this show, when we're talking about a guy who's like too nice and too clingy and too, you know, um, that that's exactly what he's talking about. That's why it's funny. My girlfriend's amazing. You want to know what else is amazing? What? NCAA 25. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You uh, oh, that, was, you your love, it. that was your love language. You sorry. Yeah. <laughs> love language. Madden 25. There you go. Maybe yeah. that'll make more dude sense. Dude crap. Yeah, dude crap. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, I would be very disappointed, but, like, you got to build a life that's awesome in and of itself. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And not just, you complete me. Remember that? What a terrible f***ing thing. I don't, we don't need to complete, complete each other. Complete ourselves. Yes, oh, for sure. Thrive yeah. together. Uh, this one right here. Yeah, polarity is the key to a successful relationship. Not, yang, yang. Yeah, exactly. Listen, uh, that we are, opposites are We are there to make sure that our cats have better lives. That is the yes. point of our existence. And a sort of to mating sure is 100% bullshit. Cats are happy. That's you what it is. I agree. I'm kidding. I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> it's still a lot. It's good. It's so cute. <laughs> I know. I want some. All right, here we go, right? <laughs> Kyle, you got me? Baby, real love is not, I love you, I miss you, I can't wait to see you. Real love is, I booked your flight to Mykonos, I will have a driver on arrival. Make sure you have your favorite sundresses, sunglasses, and makeup, because we will have beautiful sunset dinners together. Yalla. <laughs> that's not how normal people talk. That's luxury. Okay, no, that's, ready, ready, that's not how that, normal that's people. That's luxury. That's not necessarily love. Do you think that's love? No. You don't think so? I feel like love is like I don't know. You see like the nastiest part of me, and you still want to stick around. To For me, sure. that's love. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you watched me on Access Vegas, and you still want to stick yeah. around. Yeah. You watched <laughs> me poop my yeah. pants yeah. after Taco Bell, and then you helped Taco me clean Bell. it up. Like, oh. Oh. Poop. That's love. That's love right there. Yes. What do, you, what do you think about that? What do you think about what he's saying? Do you think that's what love is? 
No. No? Just maybe he wants her to... Maybe you all should raise your standards. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you just need oh, to raise wait, your standards. You need to know your worth. Yes. Jolie, what do you think? I think everybody knows how I feel. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> She's ready. Yes, ready. Is your love language Mykonos? Oh, my love language is just spoil me rotten. I don't want to work. I don't want to deal with thirty seven figure annuities. You can do it. Do it. Yeah. Well, this is my thing. I'm so tired of like dealing with multiple guys. When I was married, I could really good one man. It was clean was consistent i could dress up i didn't have to deal with texting all day multiple people to try to keep up with the love life uh, as far as what this guy's saying this is a gaslighting piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. guy's a fucking look oh my um, god oh they're awful to you yeah i was you're spoiled fly to mink and us on spirit there you yeah. go no. <laughs> okay i'm not saying i've ever done this but i know a guy who used to do this for those of you who don't know i used to manage a strip club for four years back in uh, oh. Yeah. Texas the guy I know would go to strip clubs and he would talk to strippers and he'd be like, "You're gorgeous. Let's go to Mykonos tomorrow." And he would yes. buy the ticket right in front of the girl, first class. And you guys know why he would do that, right? To get laid and because you can cancel those tickets in 24 hours. Oh, yeah. That's the reason why he would buy refundable tickets or he canceled the tickets That's after 24 also hours. So fucking creepy. Like <laughs> it is a real so story. You creepy. are you no, are correct. I went real on a story. date it's one so time. Wait, wait. I went on a date one time and it was like the first time i ever went out with this guy i think he was like begging me to go out with him and i was like you know what like he's a nice guy like let me go oh, and see what's up down, no the fucking thing was is that he was like trying to buy all these plane tickets and i'm like i don't fucking know you i don't yeah. know you like why would i go to another country with somebody i don't fucking know yeah. thank you you know it's what weird. you have more wisdom than those dumb cunts that were in a tinder swindler and Every last one of them is, jumped on that when plane. When all the shit went down, I think I was like shit. 20. Yeah. And I was like, I'm sorry, this is way it's too much. So but like, I think also it's just like, kind of, I think he meant it though. Like he was like desperate. Because he's desperate. He was yes. desperate. Like he had nothing else to offer besides the spoiling. And some girls like that, but I like a little bit more substance to it, Lola, you know? Lola, but what like, you it was just, Yeah, it's yeah. like, where's your game, man? You have to show me that like you're the because you can buy a plane to Mykonos like how about I you can just buy it myself, be thanks. funny Give if you're shirt. ugly be funny how about that <laughs> have you ever heard good. the saying of like scrubs give the best because they have nothing else to offer. No, no, no. Uh, uh, dude, a man and Nicole <laughs> came on my. A man and. Like you need Brent. A man. Yeah. Yeah. A man and Nicole came on my show one time. She goes, "Ladies, don't get digmatized. It's like the more felon and broke they are, the more they fuck you. Like your rent depends on." Oh God, they'll yeah. eat your fucking pussy for hours. But a man who's like got shit to do, he's like, "You got twenty minutes, girl. Good. <laughs> and come or I'm out." They're like, you know? they're like, "I have no place to sleep." Yeah. And I'm gonna say. <laughs> I have no place to sleep. I'm going to go down on this girl for hours. Nobody click yeah. that. Nobody click that. <laughs> Nobody click that. Thank I you. I have nothing to do today. The, yes. the least I could do yeah, is eat your I... fucking pussy. That's amazing. Also, side note, oh, the, I got the Scott go. guy in the comments is pretty funny. He says his mattress has been on the floor for the past 11 years, and he's a carpenter that could build a bed frame. That's what oh, that, he just doesn't. Oh. Yeah, I've been there before. I just want to point that out. That's uh, when I was when I was managing the strip club, I would I slept on a there was no if the mattress was on the floor. I don't yeah. care. What did I give a shit? It didn't matter. Yeah. 